My name is Judy Juries, representing USA Down Syndrome Swimming. Our message is simple. Inclusion in competitive swimming leads to inclusion in life. We have seen firsthand that with the right support and high expectations, swimmers with Down Syndrome and other developmental disabilities can learn to master strokes, improve time, increase endurance, and compete alongside typically developing peers. I am excited to share about the USA DSS organization and our amazing athletes, the benefits of competitive swimming, some insight for teaching swimmers with Down syndrome proper technique, and more details about the opportunities the athletes with disabilities have to compete. USA Down syndrome swimming was formed to benefit swimmers with Down syndrome in their pursuit of competitive swimming and to support their elite participation in national and international competition. We advocate for athletes with disabilities to be able to train at local swim clubs all over the USA. We have come alongside families as they navigate the world of competitive swimming, and we do our best to partner with the coaches working hard to creatively include our swimmers. In addition, we select a team of athletes to represent the USA at international competitions run by the Down Syndrome International Swim Organization, or DSISO. DSISO was established in 2002 to organize regional and world championships specific to swimmers with Down syndrome. Currently, over 50 countries are affiliated with DSISO and compete for regional and world records. There are strict time standards to qualify for the competition, and you must be selected to represent a participating country. USA swimmers have attended almost all of the DSISO world championships with solid representation from a few ground groundbreaking swimmers. Team USA has attended championships in England, Ireland, Portugal, Italy, and Canada. Over time, the team size grew and swimmers learned a lot from the international experience and from one another. A special bond was created that gave them strength and pride that they well earned. In July of 2018, 13 swimmers from the USA competed at the 9th Biannual World Down Syndrome Swim Championships in Nova Scotia, Canada. They came together and earned a top 10 team finish for the USA National Down Syndrome Swimming Team's Best Ever Championship. Check out this news piece that highlights that event in America's own pioneer, Andy Myaris. The race is on at the Community Center in Truro, Nova Scotia. 250 athletes from 27 countries are here, and every one of them are living with Down Syndrome. They have all overcome significant physical and intellectual delays. They have trained as hard as any athlete in any sport for any world championship. And they're here to celebrate that and uh, try to do their best. I am Parents cheer in many languages from the stands. There are teams here from Brazil, Japan, Australia, and Britain, just to name a few. The Down Syndrome International Swimming Organization was created to give these swimmers the opportunity to compete on a world stage. Andy Mayares of the United States has 51 world records and has even been in the pool with U.S. Olympian Michael Phelps. I love to come to compete and set my world records. Andy has been, I think, like a pillar for many moms um, to see that, yes, yes, I can do it. Yes, I can. Yes, I will succeed. The championship was an amazing experience for our swimmers. It was clear that many countries were well organized with strong financial backing for their teams. Team USA supporters were motivated to grow and strengthen America's presence. So they came together to create a nonprofit to provide better support. In the fall of 2019, nine athletes were selected for the USA Down Syndrome National Swim Team to travel to the European Open in Sardinia, Italy. While there, every team member made it to the podium and Team USA took third place. More importantly, the swimmers had an irreplaceable life experience and came home motivated to continue training for the World Championships in Turkey. Unfortunately, the pandemic caused the 2020 event to be canceled, but the athletes continue to train for another opportunity to represent the USA at the World Swim Championships in 2022 in Portugal.
While our primary focus is to grow the USA national team into an international powerhouse, we are also working to inspire, include, and celebrate all swimmers with Down syndrome, or as we call them, T21 Swim Warriors. We want to encourage water safety instructors to teach proper technique from the beginning because it is so hard for swimmers with Down syndrome to unlearn bad habits. During one-on-one -on -one lessons, you can try adding music, giving choices when feasible, and naming skilled drill some things that is motivational for that swimmer. For example, you could suggest that they swim fast like the flash or kick like a mermaid with your legs together. It is important to keep your adaptations age appropriate. There is no single path to become a T21 swim warrior. Some swimmers start very young as a way to be safe around the water. Others are born into a family of swimmers. Occasionally, a teenager will take up swimming and have a unique aptitude for the sport. I'd like to introduce one of those special athletes. Joe Souter of Michigan started to learn to swim at the age of 16. In a short few years, he was selected to the national team in the European Open in Italy, he made the finals and set a master's level American region record. He is well tapered and ready to go and to perform really well, I think. Joe Suter has been swimming for the last seven years. <laughs> Seeing him then, you wouldn't have thought he'd be swimming in the world championship. He couldn't swim very well at all, but uh, through lots of hard work, he became better and better. With his improvement, his coach wanted him to strive for something more. And Joe has an action plan to get to his goals. Play out to play out and get buggered out to play out and try, out to try and get to first place. He says he's so excited to represent his country. Yes, I am, but I am ready for it. Joe has qualified for eight individual events and will hopefully getting in on some relays too. In Harbor Springs, Cassidy Cobb, 9 and 10 News. Joe inspires all of us to strive to be better, to be, give more, and to succeed. While not every swimmer with Down syndrome will thrive in the water, we know that competitive swimming at any level has tremendous benefits. Many athletes with Down syndrome swim with Special Olympics, local high schools, USA Swimming, and USA Masters Swim Clubs. So if you find a student with a disability who is motivated, is comfortable in the water, and has good body awareness, be advised, there are many opportunities for them to join a swim team. I am here because someone believed in me, in my abilities, my potential, my humanity, and my right to not only exist, but flourish as me. The common thread for every successful Team USA swimmer is that someone believed in them, enough to teach them proper technique and to include them on a swim team with neurotypical peers. As a parents, we are blown away by the support our athletes receive from our swimmers' coaches and teammates. My son Joey has had an incredible support from his community. His coaches believed in him, and their support gave us hope to dream bigger than we ever thought possible. Passionate. He is hardworking. Lakeland Swim Club swimmer Joey Juries can swim, splash, and stroke for laps. Make it man fast. Man win. He just puts it all out there. I want him to swim competitive times for what Joey can do. Joey's mom, Judy, says Joey joined the club team about two years ago. But that was just the start. We all dream of him ending up on the podium. After Joey's freshman year on the Lakeland Union swim team, he started making waves in the swimming community. Literally. Oh my gosh, Joey can, can swim on the world stage. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. During his freshman year, Joey qualified to represent Team USA in the ninth World Down Syndrome Swim Championships in Canada at the end of July. Oh my gosh, that's like a mom's dream come true. He's learned the techniques. Um, he's gotten his flip turns down, his starts, backstroke, butterfly. Joey's head coach, Chris Garcia, says Joey will compete in the 25 and 50 freestyle, 25 and 50 backstroke, and the 25 and 50 butterfly. How are you feeling? Excited. Joey is going into the competition only a few seconds off from some of the world records. Coach Chris and, and I and Robert, you know, all know that he's capable of that. In Managua, Aaron View News Watch 12. Joey's experience at the 2018 championship was like a fairy tale. 
His coaches had him very well prepared. He medaled in three races, earning the first U.S. gold medal in 10 years, and he broke multiple American region records. He came home from that meet motivated to recreate that feeling of accomplishment and to see his new swim buddies again in the future. His community rallied to give him an unforgettable welcome home. What I learned at that championship was there was more for USA swimmers to learn. These swimmers with Down syndrome from all around the world, they were ripped, they were in shape, they were independent, and they knew how to race, they knew how to congratulate, to win, to lose, and to be gracious. USA DSS believes in our swimmers, and we are working to find ways to best support them. In 2019, we hosted a training camp and time trials for the national team. It was a great way to raise the bar for our swimmers and develop some team bonding. We are planning a national training camp in 2021 where we will recruit more swimmers, provide high-performance training, promote independence, and build relationships between our swimmers, their coaches, and our families. Competitive swimming offers many growth opportunities and life rewards. The health benefits alone are indisputable. Swimming builds an athlete's core stability through the coordination of muscle groups throughout the body. It increases breath control and improves cardiovascular stamina and total body endurance. This allows swimmers to live their best life by having the energy and endurance to work and to play hard. This is especially important for our T21 swim warriors. The degenerative nature of Down syndrome is far-reaching, affecting each individual's body differently. This disorder causes variable intellectual disability, progressive memory loss, and neurodegeneration with age. It causes hypertonia or muscle weakness and joint laxity. Many of our national team members have faced significant health challenges beyond the diagnosis of Down syndrome. For example, Lauren Burquist of Florida had a heart defect corrected by open heart surgery as a baby. She later on in life developed type 1 diabetes. But through careful management of her blood sugar levels, high performance training, inclusion on a club and high school team, and intense personal effort, she has made the national team multiple times. She even earned two podium finishes at the 2019 European Open and holds an American region record. Even though swimmers with Down syndrome are faced with significant cognitive and physical challenges, we want to encourage you to treat your swimmers with Down syndrome like any other athlete. To succeed, swimmers and their families need you to believe. Of course, make accommodations, be patient, be creative, but know that with your support and high expectations, they are capable of excelling in the pool. It is important for competitive swimmers to develop mental toughness, to cross train, and to choose a life of healthy living. The athletes on the national team have internalized that lifestyle. Swimmers on the USA Down Syndrome National Swim Team train hard for their success. They swim thousands of yards each practice alongside neurotypical peers. They also cross train throughout the year. Many thrive at other sports like biking, skiing, surfing, tennis, basketball, triathlons, and more. Mary Borman, a national team member from Arkansas, is a prime example. During the pandemic, Mary worked out at a friend's backyard pool. She has become a sought-after public speaker on the benefits of exercise and good nutrition. Nutrition is the way we get energy that our bodies need for health and growth. There are some things that are important for us to be to be to be healthy. Five hundred and sixty calories for the burger. That this is what it takes to burn off that burger. It is to work out hard. Swimming is a notoriously difficult sport. Most of our families start their child in swimming lessons to teach them to be safe around the water. Some seek out Special Olympics as the first avenue to swimming competitions. But when a swimmer has solid technique, they can also be included on USA Swimming, High School, and USA Master Swim Teams. Those opportunities generate enormous benefits to an individual that are difficult to replicate in any other way. Inclusive swim teams are the X factor for swimmers with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Coaches who are patient, creative, and hold swimmers with Down syndrome to high standards mold these swimmers into our elite T21 swim warriors. Even with well-meaning coaches and kind teammates, it takes time for a swimmer with a disability to truly be part of a team. Inclusion can be messy. 
USA Down Syndrome Swimming wants to be part of the solution for including more swimmers with disabilities on American swim teams. We understand that swim teams are about the team. We want our swimmers held to a high standard and not be given preferential treatment because of their disability. They should not always get to go first, be the one chosen for a drill, or be allowed to opt out of a drill. Similarly, T21 Swim Warriors should not always be swimming a parallel practice set apart from the rest of the team. We advocate for creative inclusion. We can help coaches support swimmers with accommodations that minimally affect your swim team. We need your help to boost Team USA onto the podium in Portugal in 2022. Swimming alongside typical developing peers creates numerous personal growth opportunities. Our swimmers are motivated by their teammates to be better and to work harder, and many times they become a source of inspiration for the entire team. Peers are amazing teachers, and people with Down syndrome learn by watching and by doing. Just like their teammates, swimmers with Down syndrome must problem solve, deal with disappointment, and learn good teamwork. They must develop positive attitudes and coping strategies for pressure situations. They must have respect for others and learn to communicate. Most swim meets do not allow parents on the swim deck, and this is strictly enforced at DSISO events. T21 swim warriors must work through their individual fears and challenges just to compete. Risk-taking requires gumption and perseverance, but it also brings great rewards. Those who succeed develop self-reliance and a thirst for independence. Those are the real-life skills that will carry over into their daily lives. Swimming competitively enhances academic skill and requires attention to detail. Swimmers with Down syndrome learn by repetition, creative coaching, and by becoming intrinsically motivated. They are capable of learning proper technique for all four strokes, diving off the block, flip turns, pullouts, and other complex movements. T21 Swim Warriors can learn to read heat sheets and coaches' workout plans. But don't take that number sense for granted. Intentionally teach them to count lengths by 25s and by 50s. Follow a set list, count strokes, read heat sheets, follow events on a scoreboard, and follow digital pace clocks. A great way to start holding them accountable is to have them follow up here. When swimmers with Down syndrome have access to a community of swimmers, they develop a sense of belonging, improve fitness, greater independence, better social skills, and superior technique. They begin to notice that a slight change in arm positioning makes them faster in the water. This new attention to detail carries forward into daily tasks such as cooking, laundry, shopping, and more. Inclusion creates an inner confidence in our swimmers that they can rely on themselves and that they are valued. Their pride is well earned, and for a person with a disability such as Down syndrome, this is priceless. We acknowledge that the athlete with Down syndrome will need extra attention and creativity to teach them properly. Most of our athletes need one-on-one -on -one encouragement and targeted teaching but it is so worth the effort. Therapists, personal trainers, swim instructors, and coaches can make an enormous difference in how they perceive themselves. If you believe, they will. And they will work incredibly hard to overcome their individual challenges. It only takes one person who is willing to problem solve to help a swimmer with a disability succeed. We know that many of you already see the possibilities in your swimmers, and we want to take this opportunity to thank you for all that you do. We appreciate that you're interested in learning more. So here are a few tips on working with someone who has Down syndrome. First, building a trusting relationship with your swimmer is absolutely key. Luke Drumright, a national team member from Michigan, has a coach who believes in, challenges, and celebrates him. I went to get the swimming class or swimming practice. And if you're down about something, tell your coach. A coach is more than the coach, the true friend, a caring person that cares for you. So, don't be afraid to get to know your swimmer. One idea is to send home a short survey to all of your swimmers to find out ways to connect. This can be really helpful to identify causes for challenging behaviors and utilize intrinsic motivators for an athlete. Once you develop a relationship with your swimmer, they will stop at nothing to please you. That will be a key because it is super important to teach proper technique from the start. Many of our swimmers have had to unlearn bad habits and that has proven to be much harder than learning them correctly in the first place. 
For example, Luke had worked throughout four years of high school swimming to perfect a flip turn, but his hands kept coming out of the water at the turn. After the 2018 championships, Luke's coaches worked with him one-on-one -on -one and things finally clicked. Coach Buffy Hall retaught the basics and did side-by-side -side demonstrations. Coach Matt Luther had Luke do a drill where after a flip turn, he had to stay under the water for the width of the pool. The trick for Luke was that he needed the visual and the specific challenge to stay under the water to the last lane line. It also helped that he understood that it was faster to stay under the water. Concrete goals like that are especially powerful because people with Down syndrome are visual learners and master mimics. Use demonstrations whenever possible, even pulling a swimmer out of the water to watch a peer perform a drill. Another key tip is that swimmers with Down syndrome need repetition to learn a new skill. It takes a lot for them to process where they are supposed to be and what they should be doing. Some of our swimmers do not use time effectively. They order their days by events. So utilize checklists and create routines whenever possible because that is how our athletes thrive. They don't get bored easily and they love feeling competent. When those routines need to change, it is very important to prepare them for exactly what is coming. While the goal should always be to teach proper form, you may need to bonify a drill or a skill. You can try differentiating your instruction by providing more time for them to process instructions, expecting them to learn one new thing at a time, breaking down a skill into manageable movements, having them only swim freestyle, providing more rest if needed. For example, you could shorten a set from 100 to 75 or allow fins for a set or partial set so a swimmer can keep up with the team. Several of our swimmers are leaders in the pool and around their communities. They love interacting and giving to others. Allow them to demonstrate a skill when possible. It's a great way to include them in practice. It helps them hyper-focus on a specific skill and it shows you exactly where they're at with that skill. Create ways for peers to cooperate or compete. Our swimmers love being part of relays and playing games. You can also provide a visual or a peer for them to keep up with during practice. Most of our swimmers perform best when they have something to chase during practice or a race. Often, if they're off to the side, they will do their own thing. But if they're in the thick of it and feel confident that they will, can keep up, you will see their competitiveness come out. At high school meets across the country, swimmers with Down syndrome are getting the opportunity to compete and succeed. However, one thing you can expect is inconsistency. The smallest thing can throw our swimmers before they swim. So it is extremely important to help them mentally prepare. Communicate expectations before a lesson or pump them up before a race, but don't give them too much instruction. They won't be able to process much technique in the moment. When communicating with an athlete, make sure you have the attention and that you are positive and clear in your expectations. Abstract concepts are hard, and our athletes take instructions very literally. Encourage them to follow up here, try to find specific words or visuals that work, and make sure that all of the coaches are using the same language. Immediate feedback after a lesson or race is also really important for our swimmers. They may need your help to see minor improvements. Coming in first in a heat doesn't happen often, so it is important that they are taught to race for their personal best times. Praise them appropriately and let them know if they have underperformed. They absolutely can understand concrete goals. During a lesson or practice, you may need to demonstrate how a swimmer is executing a drill wrong, not just showing them the correct technique. If you aren't in the water or don't have a peer to demonstrate, try using an app like Coach's Eye or Huddle Technique where you can draw on the video to correct poor technique. One coach uses the app to hold swimmers accountable during one-on-one -on -one sessions. When the coach sees a lack of effort, effort to correct form, he pulls the swimmer out of the pool and has them do push-ups. However, the coach would do the push-ups if the swimmer got it right. Providing both negative and positive consequences proves highly motivational. An effective accommodation we learned from the race club in San Diego, California, is to utilize a waterproof earbud connected to a coach's microphone. This ensures the swimmer is hearing the coach and keeps them focused on the goal of the drill. We love this idea. Finding a swimmer's intrinsic motivation to correct their technique and train hard is huge. 
It may be different for each person, but one common motivation is the pride of representing your hometown and country. In 2018, Mary attended the Down Syndrome World Championships in Canada, and she was also selected to represent Arkansas at the USA Special Olympics Championships. In this clip, you can see how swimming was a natural fit for her and how proud she is to swim for those she loves. And to see her in the water, is, it's beautiful to watch her be so comfortable in the water. Swimming has, has made it so she's got so much confidence in herself. She will not give up. She does not quit. I know that someone's born. I know this is on four. I became pretty good. DHS wants to celebrate Mary Borman, a sophomore communications major at the U of A of Fayetteville, as she embarks on a trip to the Special Olympics USA Games in Seattle with 71 other Arkansas athletes during the first week of July. I also did for myself, but also for my parents as well. She swims really hard. In the state games, she's, her times are really, really good. And she's got all the strokes down really well. And she does flip turns. And I mean, she, she was kind of a standout. Mary still remembers when she learned that complex maneuver, the flip turn. I don't know I got it, but someone told me, it's like, wow, you got this. I look like I'm about to be upside down, but then you turn into a freestyle. We tell her, and she knows, is that she's representing Arkansas. That's a big deal for her. And if there's one carrot that always works, it's that she's representing Arkansas, which I think is pretty cool. Parents also play a critical role in the success of any swimmer. It takes an especially supportive family who has an unwavering belief in the swimmer with Down syndrome. They must see the value of early morning swim practices, swim team fees, one-on-one -on -one lessons, hours in the bleachers, and advocating for their child. Create a partnership with the swimmer's family to learn more about what motivates their child, how their disability affects them, and how best to capitalize on the role of the coach and the role of a parent. From then on, I knew the water was the answer to everything in his life. I like to be in water every morning, every afternoon, every day. One of the things that uh, swimming has created for Andy is discipline. Intellectually, it has taught him how to count, how to pace himself, and then socially, has done tremendous for him because he has tremendous social skills, which I might add that he inherited from his mother. With a solid partnership, the challenging moments can be weathered and the celebrations are sweet. Parents and professionals that support swimmers with disabilities should know that there are tremendous opportunities to be included in the sport of competitive swimming. It takes a talented swimmer, a dedicated family, and a coach who includes creatively to help them be successful. Here's a little more details about the opportunities to swim competitively in the USA. Many people with disabilities first compete at a Special Olympic swim meet. It is the world's largest sports organization for children and adults with intellectual disabilities. Competitors are ranked for each swim meet, and each heat awards a first, second, and third place finish. There may be other ribbons given, and a swimmer may be disqualified for an improper stroke, turn, or finish. For those who want to have more opportunities to swim competitively, a swimmer can search for an inclusive coach at a local USA Swimming Club. USA Swimming is the national governing body for competitive swimming in the United States. While most clubs target swimmers between the ages of 8 and 18, USA Swimming Clubs and Meets have been extremely accepting of athletes with disabilities who are over 18 years old. U.S. Masters is America's national governing body for master swimmers events for adults over the age of 19. T21 Swim Warriors have been welcomed on teams and at swimming meets all over the United States. Swimmers compete based on qualifying times rather than age or gender. For those of you supporting people with intellectual disabilities, please also check out Athletes Without Limits. Athletes Without Limits, otherwise known as AWL, helps their athletes identify coaching, training, and competition opportunities at the local, regional, and national level with a focus on the integration of athletes with intellectual and developmental disabilities into mainstream and Paralympic sport.
Many USA DSS athletes are also athletes that are members of AWL. Some of our swimmers also participate in open water events. This is where swimmers race across the lake or in the ocean. It is the ultimate in long distance swimming. One of our swimmers is a rare triple threat. Valeria Van Balen swam at multiple Down Syndrome Championships on the USA National Swimming Team. She is also an open water swimmer. But what makes her even more amazing is she is now competing as an artistic swimmer. The Down Syndrome International Swim Organization added artistic swimming as an event to their competitions in 2012. Artistic swimming demands advanced water skills, requires great strength, endurance, flexibility, grace, artistry, and precise timing, as well as exceptional breath control while upside down and underwater. Our USA DSS artistic swimmers are passionate and enthusiastic, true T21 swim warriors. I am lucky to have a wonderful coach, Coach Isis Sanchez. is wonderful with the team and works hard to teach at a high level while making it fun for us. USA Down Syndrome Swimming is proud of our T21 Swim Warriors. We can be a resource for athletes and will encourage them to reach for the stars. Anyone with Down Syndrome from the USA who loves to swim and wants to be on a swim team can be a T21 Swim Warrior. Just go to our website and join. We are also planning a national training camp in 2021 and we'll be selecting a USA national team next summer for the DSISO World Championships in Portugal in 2022. More details will be coming soon. Our technical advisor, Rick Klatt of Fresno, California, could use your help as we build a better network of supported professionals. Contact him at techadvisor at usadss.org. We can also contact him if you have specific questions about supporting a swimmer with Down syndrome. To learn more about our organization, receive a newsletter, or join USADSS, please contact us at join at usadss.org. It takes creativity, planning, and a big heart to coach a swimmer with Down syndrome. USA DSS is blown away every day by the support that swimming professionals provide our swimmers. Thank you again for diving in to learn more about teaching people with Down syndrome how to swim.